Hello everyone. On my last video titled On Fake Views and Manipulating Your Audience, I had a few people ask me, you know, how do you discern between fake views and subs and the real thing or real situations that uh, they gave? They gave a whole bunch and I, and I told them how I discerned. But I'm going to give an example here today. Um, after the, the video went out, I was talking with uh, Paul C. Hartley, and I will link his channel in the description box. Watch his Literally Genesis series, It's the Bomb. Anyways, um, I was talking with him about this subject, and afterwards I went into a hangout that had Brett Keen in it to drop a drama bomb in there because we have a sort of shared history with uh, a certain user that uh, I just decided to out. And th that'll be the uh, example here because it was hard to explain to Brett Keen um, what I was talking about here. So I'm going to give this visual reference here, okay? So we're talking about the Happy Cabby channel, a.k.a. Paul the Pedophile Podiatry Putz, okay? <sighs> You're not going to see it on his channel from, from the things that, that YouTube gives, but you can go to a site like Social Blade, and you're going to type in Happy Cabby, right? And you're going to see all of it, his statistics for his channel come up, right? And if you're using Social Blade, what I want you to do is scroll down, and I want you to click on See Full Monthly Statistics, right? Because the charts that I'm, I'm showing you that really, really bring this to bear. Th this is just so obvious. The charts that I want to show you are right here. So, in July 2014, Happy Cabby had, oh, 27,000 subscribers. And then in about 50 days' time... He went up to 42,000, right? But if we look at the total views chart, which is right down here, just two charts down, you do not see a co corresponding spike in viewership for him at all. You see pretty much a, a linear progression that's pretty flat. Doesn't look like the other chart. See? See? Why would all of these people subscribe to him without watching even one of his videos each? Okay? There should be a spike, and there is not. Because they were paid for. This happened in a signature way, where uh, a certain service that he uses only adds 300 subscribers per day to try to fly under the radar. But what happens when they're done? and your purchase is over, a whole bunch of those subscribers decide to not subscribe to that person anymore, so there's a little trickle-off tail at the end of it when those people actually start using their channel. Because what they're doing is they're using the free service from the same website where they only get 10 subscribers a, a day, but they have to subscribe 10 other people. And this service plays kind of like a Ponzi scheme where... They throw in the, the paid people with, you know, that's who the free people have to subscribe to. So, when they actually decide to start using their subscription box to actually look at content, that's when they start to unsubscribe from the people that they, they, they subscribe to. If they get caught, they get kicked off the free service, but, you know, they'll just go to a different free service. But uh, this is a signature pattern right here. The big rise, right here, with no associated rise in viewership, right here, and then the tail. Okay, that's how you can tell that someone has purchased their audience. What? What? And now you know, this ain't no joke. There's drama bombs behind this smoke. And you can comment, rate me. Stick around and hate me. MCMC, that's me, that's me. And when you feel this pop, that's my microphone drop.
And I don't even care that my fucking webcam just fell behind my computer desk. Fuck you, Happy Cabby. Fuck you.